Productivity Patriots, Aidan Parker here with your Monday morning brief. Uh, today I'd like to touch on safety leadership. Now for those that know me well, know that I spent entirely too fucking long at university uh, completing my degrees. Um, so what was it, eight years and about 65, 75,000 bucks? What sticks out? Well, there's at least a dozen sort of key points that sit with me. But uh, one in particular that's relevant to this was a leadership unit that we did. Now, we were asked to do an assignment on a local business leader from here from Perth. And so my group chose uh, Michael Malone, the, uh, the lad from Padbury that with Michael O'Reilly uh, founded IINet. You may have heard of them. Um, now what impressed me most is that he would insist, he would himself and he would insist that his senior management team would spend a day a month jockeying the help desk phone. That's like yes, turn it on, turn it off again, etc. Like the basic, basic stuff. And his thinking behind this was that he understood that there is a requirement for your management team to be in direct consultation or direct touch with your customers because otherwise how else would they be able to represent their best interests which is what their whole job is to do. So why do I bring this up now? Um, some of you will have seen the live feed that I did with Dave Clare, the Profit for Purpose, uh, last Friday evening where I recounted a story that's becoming all too familiar for me. So last week I was baffled as a worker approached me and, and was really shocked by my willingness to join the crew and do the works with them. This really incenses me as, since when did we become too busy to do our own fucking jobs? I mean, if the safety or leadership team is unable to do the odd job with their work crew, how on earth are they well placed to manage it? I mean, let's look at the benefits here. Like, um, benefits could include from a safety point of view, uh, you may be able to identify new hazards or perhaps uh, identify hazards that have been previously reported but for whatever reason were overlooked and unfixed and, and that and that one piece of broken kit that the workforce believes never is going to get fixed uh, because management don't care. It's more that there was a miscommunication somewhere and you can actually close those sorts of things off and drive uh, the safer culture in that space. Uh, there's a financial benefit. How much material and time does it take to do a job? Can it be done better? Is, if, is there new technology, is there new equipment that, that could be brought in to actually streamline that process? And standardization. I mean, let's break down the idiosyncrasies or the silos and command the way in which your business does something. I mean, the example for this, I won't go into it now, but the example for this is you go into a McDonald's anywhere in the world, you order a cheeseburger, it looks the same, um, it smells the same, and probably mostly tastes the same as well. So that's establishing your standard so your clients know what to expect from you. So that's the smartest side of things. How does that keep it simpler? Essentially, end up letting your culture do the work for you. When your workforce sees the boss pitch in on a consistent basis, all the dissent and gossip go straight out the window. You know this to be true. It's in the Australian DNA. We're anti-authoritarian, but we're very responsive to a power base that is tangibly accessible. The ones that are there shoulder to shoulder, swinging the shovel with us. They don't need to swing the shovel with us every day. But the workforce, knowing that the boss can actually swing a shovel, makes all the difference. Not only does it benefit your culture, senior management have the executive capacity to easily dissolve uh, inefficiencies or roadblocks or outdated procedural requirements. This has an immeasurable commercial and competitive advantage for your business. So from a safety side of things, not only are the bosses able to allocate resources or, or rejig things uh, to get a smoother workflow, they're able to reinforce the organisation's level of risk tolerance and therefore their safety culture. Being that your management team works with workers' comp, fixed costs, uh, client relationships, all of this sort of stuff, they're in a better position uh, to see the fuller picture and are less likely to entertain safety or organisational risks, making your workplace safer. So my advice for a smarter, simpler and safer workplace, simply this, wars are won by troops, not by officers. Get out there, push the mower, clean the dunny, hang the door. Only when you're in the trenches with your troops are you really able to drive the success of your business.